Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Leopold, and welcome to my first question and answer. Okay, so make sure you always leave your questions. I don't, honestly, I honestly, blah, 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 blah. I don't care where you leave your questions, just leave questions. I screenshot them, put them in my Dropbox, and assign them to an episode. This is episode one. So excited. Let's get this started. Leah Wicks wants to know, how did you learn to code? Actually, just by interest, and then I just researched tutorials online. I didn't learn from one specific person or source other than kind of like YouTube, but that's not really a source. Not one channel helped me. Whenever I needed help, I just looked it up and found out who could help me. I was kind of self-taught other than the internet. Have you ever thought of playing sports? Really, Fred? Even Joseph agrees with me. Wow. But no, I haven't. I love it when if someone needs help or asks a question on my channel, if you guys help them, if I can't, I usually can, but sometimes I don't. So, how old are you and how long have you been on YouTube? He is a dude ninja. Bruh. Okay, so I am 12 years old, 13 in like in seven days. And I've been on YouTube for about three years now. Kim Jong-un. Do you like North Korea? Wow. And here's a request. I need a cheap microphone for under $20. At this moment, Oliver realized that his microphone costed $11 and can be turned into 3.5 millimeters with just an additional $5 adapter. Check out the video in the card now. And what is the best video editing software for Windows, which is free? So, again, Mr. Champion 9999, thank you so much for answering this question. He said basically that there's no, like, awesome free video editing software for Windows. Um, try Sony Vegas Pro or Cyberlink Power. And if you're a professional and you want to pay a little more, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And for Mac... Final Cut Pro. Thanks. You're welcome. Even though I just read that. But I, yeah, I totally agree with that. I use Premiere Pro just because I like to get that more professional sense. But it really doesn't matter if you're making videos, what editing software. Because it's really about the content. I mean, at least at the beginning. Do a What's on My iPhone video. Okay. Coming soon to theaters near you. No, but I actually all work on that video. Any favorite foods? I love your videos. Thank you so much. Gosh. Well, my parents, especially my mom, give us a lot of, like, normal food, but with, like, really healthy stuff inside. So I've really grown to, like, just enjoy, like, salads. But I also, like any other kid, like pizza and pasta. And I don't know. It's all good. It's all food. What are those? Is my main question. There are my feet. Uh, any good tips for a new and coming YouTuber? Love sign, Anna. Make sure you don't quit based on hate or whatever mean people can say on your channel. And just keep going through it and keep making videos because there are people out there that like your videos even if it seems like the haters are overpopulating that demographic just make it for the people that like your videos what is your favorite wallpaper for mac well right now i'm using like the default el capitan wallpaper but i'll leave some links below to wallpapers i like but i can't really show them because of copyright stuff who is your favorite youtuber well I'm subscribed to like a hundred, almost 200 people. So I like so many different people. Some of my favorites are MKBHD, uh, Matthias, I Justine, Miranda Sings, all sorts of different kind of people. I've just said like tech comedy, more comedy, more tech, like just random things. Why don't you use your Nikon camera, which is my DSLR, for vlogging? Because it would increase quality and ultimately more viewers. Well, it is a DSLR, so it's pretty big, and my vlogging camera gets a good amount of quality, and it's like that big, and it's small, and I'm going to do a review on it soon, but I don't want to have to carry that big thing around. Also, since I'm moving around, if I were to drop and break my DSLR, it would be a lot worse than breaking my vlogging camera. I just think it's nicer to have a more 
on-the-go camera. Also, 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 with my vlogging camera, I can put the screen up so I can see the shot, which is really important for vlogging. Like with my DSLR, I plug it into the monitor in front of me so I can see the shot right now, but I can't do it with like an external screen right there. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a dog, and then my sister has a little goldfish, so I'll show some pictures of them. Not the goldfish, because my sister probably won't let me see it. I only saw it when she got it in, like, n no other time. Will you go to VidCon next year? Actually, I will. So leave a comment below if you're going to go, and maybe if there are enough people, I could do a meetup, and it won't be that big, because I'm not that big of a channel, but I could meet some of you people. Can you move your mic a little lower or upper? It's blocking your face. Yeah, I will. I'll be more conscious of that in the future. Okay, that was our video today. I don't know why it's saying it was seven minutes. It definitely wasn't seven minutes. Oliver, it actually was seven minutes. But make sure you leave more questions down below or in any video. I'll screenshot them and put them in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.